let's see your example for understanding it in much better way let's start with the example dynamic limited has given you following information machinery as on 1st april 2016 is 50000 machinery as on 31st march 2017 is 60000 accumulated depreciation let's wait here Whenever in the question accumulated depreciation data is given, you need to understand that the machinery, the values of machinery given is at original cost and not the net of depreciation. It is at original cost at which you have bought it, right? So if you will see 50 and 60, this is not net of depreciation, they are the gross value. Okay, let's read it further. Accumulated depreciation as on 1st April 2016 is given 25,000 and accumulated depreciation as on 31st March 2017 is given 15,000. Basically, the closing balance of accumulated depreciation. What else is given? During the year, machine costing 25,000. This is the original cost rate, 25,000 with the accumulated depreciation of 15,000 on which you have charged the depreciation till date is how much? 15,000. Understand accumulated means total depreciation not for the current year. It was sold for 13,000. You need to calculate cash flow from the investing activity on basis of above information. So we have understood the question that we are required to prepare machinery account. We are required to pick, prepare the accumulated depreciation account as well right why we need to prepare it because we need to know what is the profit or losses we need to know what is any kind of balancing figure we need to know from the accumulated depreciation account what is a current year depreciation since we are maintaining the books of machinery account on original cost so depreciation is not charged in the machinery account it is charged in accumulated depreciation account Okay, let's check the solution. Firstly, we will be preparing the machinery account. Okay, in form of working note, right? So machinery account, first tell me machinery is a asset. Okay, asset comes in real account, right? Real account, assets are real account. And what is the rule of real account? Debit what comes in, credit what goes out. I hope you remember this rule very well. Okay. So, machinery is my asset. So, my balance of machinery account will be what? Debit or credit? Answer is asset always have a debit balance. So, the opening balance will always be on the debit side. Right? So, what was my opening balance? If we see my opening balance was given as 50,000 as on 1st April 2016. So I'll first go and write on the debit side to balance bought down that is 50,000. And we are also given the closing balance. We write it on credit side by balance carried down. Let's check the amount given. It is 60,000. Closing balance means at the end of the financial year. So, we will go and write on the credit side by balance carried down as 60,000. This was as per the data given to me. What else is given in the data? It is given that accumulated depreciation. And we know when accumulated depreciation account is given, you have to prepare the ledger out of it. So, we will also prepare the accumulated depreciation account. Understand accumulated depreciation are deducted from the fixed asset account. Okay. So, we can also write it on liability side. And liability has credit balance. So, the opening balance of accumulated depreciation will come on which side? It will come on credit side. Let's check the balances there. If we see opening balance is given as 25,000. So, I'll go on accumulated depreciation. Right, I'll write it on the credit side by balance bought down 25,000 and on the credit side I have written the opening. On the debit side I will be writing the closing 
बैलेंस वॉट इज माई क्लोजिंग बैलेंस गिवन ऑफ अक्यूमुलेटेड डेप्रिसिएशन इट इज फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड सो आई गो टू माई अक्यूमुलेटेड डेप्रिसिएशन अकाउंट ऑन द क्रेडिट साइड आई रोट द ओपनिंग बैलेंस ऑन द डेबिट साइड आई विल बी राइटिंग माई क्लोजिंग बैलेंस लेट्स चेक द एडिशनल डेटा गिवन टू अस इट सेज दैट ड्यूरिंग द योर मशीन कॉस्टिंग ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड what it has been done about it it was discarded on which 15000 was the accumulated depreciation and this is the sale price okay so what is this data given for it is to calculate the profit or the loss on the sale of machinery right we are preparing the machinery account okay we have to discard total how much from my machinery account what is the cost we have to discard the cost or no i have want to remove 25000 from the machinery account right so if we see i want to remove 25000 right i want to remove 25000 from the machinery account okay from this 50000 i want to remove how much 25000 but can i write it directly 25000 answer is no because there is something called profit element or a loss element inside this amount what is the cost given 25000 what is the accumulated depreciation on this machinery 15000 right we calculate profit or loss on the, the comparing what sale and wdb value of the asset as on today okay so what is the sale value given it is 13000 right if we check in the question it is given it was sold for 13000 so what is the journal entry we pass when we sell the asset it is cash or bank account debit to machinery account right so i'll write here by cash and the amount is 13000 of the 25000 i know 13000 is the price at which i have sold the machinery and 15000 is what accumulated depreciation on the machinery sold if you check the question it is clearly written it is 15000 is the depreciation which is accumulated till date okay what is accumulated till date 15000 i have charge maybe 5000 each year 10000 each year whatever it is 15000 and for calculating profit or loss on sale of machinery what we do we deduct the depreciation every year or no cost less depreciation you get the wdv or you can say value as on today so if we check what is the value as on today 25000 was the cost accumulated depreciation was 15000 as on today value of my machine is how much 10000 and i have sold this for 13000 means my sale value is more than the price at which i am having the machine in my factory today is there a profit or loss there is a profit what is the amount of profit profit amount is 3000 how i got 3000 sale less cost is nothing but your profit right so 3000 is my profit and as you know profit are to be credited to your statement of profit and loss and if it is a loss you need to debit it to the profit and loss so how do i show it in my machinery account so if you see it was a profit of 3000 i will be crediting to statement of profit and loss and not to the profit and loss account why we are preparing the cash flow for a company and you know as per companies act schedule 3 format we don't prepare profit and loss account we prepare what statement of profit and loss and amount is 3000 what was the accumulated depreciation it was 15000 and same i will go and pass the entry in my accumulated depreciation account i am removing the depreciation part from the opening balance so if you want to reduce the accumulated depreciation you need to debit it right so the entry pass to remove the depreciation element from the machinery sold is accumulated depreciation account debit to machinery account and this 
accumulated depreciation account has to be balanced now. So to balance it, I get a balancing figure as depreciation what I am going to charge for the current year. But obvious, you are not selling whole of the machinery. You will have some more machineries in your hand on which you have to charge the depreciation. So whatever balancing figure on the credit side you get in the accumulated depreciation account is nothing but your depreciation for the current year. And you know depreciation is a non-cash expense and is to be added to the operating activity. Okay. So we have to do nothing since we are preparing cash flow for the investing activity. But under machinery account, what are the things I will be taking it to investing activity? So this accumulated depreciation, I am not going to do anything. But about this opening, closing also, I have to not pass any entry in my cash flow statement. It is the sale thing. So when you sell the machinery, cash is going to come into your business. There is cash inflow. So if it is cash inflow, you are going to add it. What will be the amount you will add it? 13,000. So if I go and check, I have added 13,000. Again, there is cash outflow. How I got the cash outflow thing? Let's check. You again have to balance the machinery account or no. Right? So if we see balancing figure is coming on debit side. And whenever the balance comes on the debit side, it is nothing but your current year purchases. It is but obvious you are not just having the machine and you will just sell it. You will also have some kind of new additions in your business. That is nothing but your purchases. What is the journal entry we pass when we purchase the machinery or any kind of fixed asset? It is machinery account debit to cash bank account. So if it is a purchase, there is a cash outflow and I have to deduct it. So if we check the balancing figure is 35,000, I'll go and deduct how much? 35,000 since it's a cash outflow and net cash flow. That is inflow minus outflow although my outflow is more than inflow i will be writing it minus 22000 and the word use is not net cash flow it is net cash use since i have used more cash than i was having in this particular activity okay and what about this profit then this profit is what i have done i have Credited to my profit and loss account since it's a profit. So if it is credited to the net profit, I need to, since it's a non-operating, it's a non-operating item. What I will do? I will deduct it when I will be preparing my operating activity. Right? So under this question, we have understood how do we calculate cash flow from the investing activity.